A good way to think about making disciples is with five E's. This is language that we use a great deal in our ministry. The five E's are engage, evangelize, establish, equip, and export. So when we talk about engaging, we're talking about going, engaging students relationally. When we talk about evangelizing, we're talking about sharing the gospel with students, giving them the, the word of life, the good news of God's love for sinners through Christ, and leading them into relationship with Christ through the sharing of the gospel. Establishing refers to, once a student is a Christian, establishing them in the basics of the faith, helping them know the basic truths and doctrines of Christianity, helping them know the Bible, giving them tools for how to pray and how to have a relationship with Jesus and how to read the Bible. And so we're helping them mature and, and establish a foundation in Christianity as a believer. When we're talking about equipping, now, once a student has some maturity, they're ready to use their gifts for the sake of the kingdom. And so equipping means training students uh, to, to use their gifts, training students to share the gospel and to pray with people and to teach the Bible and to have spiritual conversations and all the different things that will enable them to have a real ministry in their life, in their school, in your ministry, and in your church. And then finally, export. This is the one that's really key, I think, in terms of finishing the drill. When we're talking about exporting, we're talking about once a student has come to Christ and they're established in the basics of the faith and they're trained, we want to give them a real place of service, a real ministry. So that may mean that that student plays in the worship band in your church. It may mean that a high school student leads a middle school Bible study. It may mean that they're trained to be a student pastor and they help out uh, in, in discipling kids in the ministry. But what I, one of the things that in our ministry we talk about is how we want our kids to be contributors in the church before they leave. So that when they're 19 and, and they go out into the world or they go to college, that they can show up at a church and as an adult, they can contribute. They could teach children Sunday school or they could lead a middle school Bible study or they could be a youth volunteer or they could play in the worship band or do whatever. That they have been exported, they've had experience. This is a, this is a big vision, but this is the end of disciple making to form kids who have a mature faith and they have a ministry in their own life. You are a part of God's vision to undo all the effects of the fall, to make right everything that is wrong in the world, and to make this earth a perfect place through the preaching of the gospel, through the activity of the Holy Spirit, and through Jesus Christ.